Um, sorry if my voice is a little hard to hear today. Um, I almost lost my voice yesterday, and I'm probably going to wind up losing my voice at some point this stream. When did you come back? Hello. Oh, I'm also in... Cre oh, yeah, I'm still in creative mode because I was making um, thumbnails. That's right. Yes, that is my pet Amargosaurus. Uh, due to popular demand, he is back. And he is leashed to my house because uh, otherwise he's going to follow me everywhere. Because there's no way to make dinosaurs stay that I know of. There probably is a way, I just haven't found it yet. We have our Mudaburosaurus and Leleniosaurus in here. Oh, I don't think I showed this in a vi Oh god. You need to go back in the water. <laughs> I may need to make this one higher, if that if that's the case. But yeah, I um I fixed that glitch that was going on in this enclosure, and it was because it wasn't registering the iron bars as a block. It was on it was reg it was registering at like free space, so everything was just getting stuck. So now that problem for the most part has been fixed. There is still, like, a few that get stuck in the bridge, but I think that's just because it's a little claustrophobic here. Oh my god, get out of the bridge! I'm gonna start drowning. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm gonna use whatever glass I have left to, uh, try to prevent breakouts. I don't think I have enough glass to do everything, so that's why I'm only doing, like, perimeter, perimeter stuff. If I have more when I'm done with that side, I'll start filling stuff in. You are very loud. I regret resurrecting you. But you know, the people wanted it, so... Hey, now my stream quality is good. I probably didn't need to place that one. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, this is to prevent... I really don't need to add one there. This is to prevent some of the fish from jailbreaking. Add that one there. And also, I have a nice way to look in. Because... Glass is cool. I enjoy glass. That was probably one of the weirdest sentences I've ever said. Hey, and I have one left to spare. <laughs> yes, so we said hello to these guys. I swear the Leleniosaurs have gotten bigger. I think they did get a little bigger. Especially when they get up like that. We have three Mudabarasaurs, I think that's right. Where are the other Leleniosaurs? I swear the Leleniosaurs disappear, because I had five of them, and now I only have two. Are... Hold up. Oh... Oh, yeah, that could be a problem. Alright. I wanted the lily pads for decoration, but they're gonna have to go. Because I'm having a feeling the Leoleniosaurs, since they're only one block high, are drowning because they're getting stuck under the lily pads. I think that's what's happening. So, lily pads are gone. I think, unless this guy's magically standing on one that no longer exists. Because I have no idea how he's standing there. Okay. Right, well, I guess we're spawning in three more Leoleniosaurs to replace the ones that died. 
Hey, we have an alternate color. Okay, we're back up to five. Let me get my food. Yeah, I don't think the Mudaburasaurus killed the, the uh, Lelenosaurus. So, they should be fine. In theory. Now that I've gotten rid of the lily pads, they have nothing to drown on. Okay. Let's put these back and then we'll go say hi to the other Amarcosaurus. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I have this truck here, that way I just don't have to sprint everywhere. Oh, there's also a truck over there. There they are. Why did I feel like I had a green one of these guys? I thought I did, but apparently not. Hello. <laughs> ah! Attack. My voice is all over the place today. I am so sorry. What is... I'm pretty sure... That's a pre-existing build, right? Did something just move inside of that? There is something in there. What is in there? What is this, like a, uh, a poacher outpost thing? I see the, uh, the tent. These are typically here, right? Oh, is that a Triceratops? I think that's a Triceratops. Sounds like one. Can I see your head? Ow. Oh yeah, that's definitely a Triceratops. How did you get- But I have mobs spawning off! Okay. Oh, unless this is a build one of my friends made. Because I let I let a few people on the server every once in a while. I was originally going to stream with them, but then I realized I have no way to record their audio for a stream. I can record their audio for videos, but not for streams. So that would be a problem. Oh, it's iron trap doors. I can't open them. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we know what dinosaur we're doing for an exhibit today. I'm gonna do a Triceratops exhibit, I guess. Because, uh, this is not an exhibit, this is a cage. <laughs> look at me in the eye. He does not like it when I look him in the eye. Oh, we have, like, a broken-down car here. That's kind of cool. It's pretty cool. What do these buttons do? Actually, I probably shouldn't have pressed that in case there's, like... A, in case this is a TNT trap. I probably shouldn't touch these. Although I'm starting to think that they're supposed to be pebbles. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're all just pebbles. Okay. How to get you out of here. I don't want to break this build too much, because it's actually a really nice build. But, um... I don't know, if I could lead him out the front here... 
Or actually, if I could lead him out of this side. I think that'll be a plan. Although, I, in hindsight, I should probably leave him in here for now. Until I have an exhibit made for him, otherwise I have nowhere to put him. So sorry, you're staying in there for now, I'll come back for you, I promise! Oh, it's a thunderstorm! Oh, goody! Hopefully things won't catch fire! I'd have to see what building materials I have. I think we could use the smooth stone, I don't think I've made an exhibit with smooth stone yet. Oh, and we also need a name tag, because, like, that's not one I spawned in. I mean, it was spawned in, but I didn't spawn it in. So I want to name it, that way it knows it's special. You are way too loud. Hey, this one's still tame to me. Oh, why am I using a vehicle when I could just ride my dinosaur? Eh, oh well. So where do I want this? I want it to be somewhat sizable. Because I feel like that one Triceratops is not going to be the only thing that gets put in here. So. I'm on I'm really just placing blocks anywhere for now. And we'll see how it goes. Definitely gonna be a large exhibit. Hopefully hopefully none of these trees get struck by lightning. Or or more importantly, my dinosaurs. I would cry. If actually no, I would laugh and then I would cry if one of the dinosaurs got struck by lightning. All right, we have the iron bars, so we'll start placing those while that gets going. This is a very long thunderstorm. Very, very long. It's also very, very dark. This will all be... I don't know. I'm thinking I kind of want to put one here. That way I could do this. And you could see in, kind of. Then have it like that. So, like, you're coming up on this path... You could kind of see what's in there, but you have to go closer to, in order to really see. Most of this is probably going to get cut out of my video. Probably do the whole clout thing <laughs> when I uh, edit this. But I also kind of want to say it in my video as well, or in the stream as well. I Just a huge thank you to everybody who's been either turn tuning into these streams... Or watching the videos when they go live on YouTube. Uh, it's truly meant a lot. Like, nothing I've done has ever, like, took off this much. Like, become as popular as it has. Like, I am not joking when I tell you. There is nothing on my channel that has nearly as many views as this series does. So... It truly, truly means a lot to me. So, just thank you so much. Over here, I could show you what I want to do. Like, over here I was thinking we do, like, Spinosaurus Sycamimus Baryonyx. Like, I feel like this is a really good area for it. It's nice and swampy, semi-aquatic. Then out here, I mean, this will still be part of the swamp enclosure. Maybe, we'll see. But out here, where it's nice and open, 
we could do some aquatics because I really want to start doing like aquatics and carnivores. So that should be fun. And then there'll be things that try to kill me. Yay! Oh, I didn't think of how I'm getting the dinosaur in here. <laughs> that could be a problem. I didn't really think about that too hard. Oops. I feel like in my head this exhibit was a lot bigger. Although, like, it is like twice the size of the Mudaburrosaur enclosure, and that was actually a pretty big enclosure. It's way bigger than the Amargosaur enclosure, which is why I need to make that bigger. Time. Day. We're doing this in daytime. I'm abusing my god powers. I don't care. See, I have these trucks here, so I don't have to go back and forth like that. But because I'm an idiot, I always forget that I have them. Why is this thing so much slower than the van? I could sprint jump faster than this. What the heck? Alright, there we go. Hello, Mr. Triceratops. Time to get you out of here. Yes, I'm saving you. Oh, I didn't mean to break that. Oh, God. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, can I lead you through this? Come. No. Really? He's too big? Wow. Alright, I guess I gotta take the top off of this. Which I didn't want to do, because it's actually a really nice build. But I have to in order to get this out. Come. Come hither. Come. Oh my god. Why are you like this? Why are you so thick? Guess I'm taking the sides off too. Yay. Oh, I got vines. Uh, yeah, I forgot. I have a silk touch pickaxe. Yes! Finally! Let's go, Mr. Triceratops. Oh, that lead broke. Oh, no. Don't mind me. Okay, I'm not doing that. Okay. There we go. Come on, Mr. Triceratops. He's so majestic as he gallops. <laughs> or she, I don't know. God, why is this so confusing? The enclosure should be, like, right here, right? Oh, I'm about to walk into the enclosure. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Trike. You can do it. Oh my god, why do leads suck so much? They're terrible.
Okay, let's fill this all in. I'm just spam clicking right now. Oh my god, it always goes in the spot I don't want it to. Okay. He's in there. So that's good. Yeah, I'm glad I finished this in creative. I would have had no blocks left. So we have a Triceratops! Yay! One of the classics, finally. It's got, like, this area for privacy if it wants. Kind of. It's very cute. Alright, I need ladders so I could get in there. Alright, six ladders is gonna have to do. I only have enough for one entry point right now, so I'll have to go chopping down some more trees. But I'll do that off stream as well. I enjoy taking full damage. Not. Hello, Mr. Triceratops. How are you? Yeah, I'm not gonna put anything in here just yet. Like, because I want to get a name tag for him. But he's got this huge area all to himself for now. I mean huge, this is by far the biggest enclosure I've ever made. So a lot of animals are definitely going to go in here. I'll definitely give him a partner and then I'll probably put in some like Struthiomimus, Ornithomimus type dinosaurs. Maybe Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, now on to what might actually be another video. Because we've been recording now for 80 minutes. And I don't know how this is all going to get put into one video.